This is my proof of concept build for the real bullet resistant Iron Man paneling that I'm trying to make. So it needs to self evaluate where bullets impact the plate and how severe those impacts are like in the movies. Like with my red hood suit build, I'll post the entire demo footage clip of this test later. Uh, this plate is a quarter inch thick and it only weighs about a pound and a half. So low impact strikes that don't weaken the plate don't actually trigger the sensors, which is good. But as seen with the first 9mm impact, the plate went straight to reporting critical. It did figure out the general region of impact, but it wasn't precise, so I've still got some tuning to do on this for sure. Theoretically, the more serious of an impact, the more the plate is going to narrow down where that impact was. As we saw here though, the first impact triggered two generalized locations, and then it narrowed it down to three triangulations, so it registered the plate as critical despite it being in good enough shape to take a lot more rounds. With this light weight of a plate, it's not being mounted to anything, it just ended up being too much for the circuitry to filter out and handle, and then the data whip eventually just completely broke away as I continued shooting it, so I lost all my connection to the plate. Um, as far as the electronics go, I'm using a TFT display with an SD card reader so that I can draw graphics onto my screen from the card. So you'll want to make sure that the SD card is a FAT32 format and set as a master boot record. I made all of my graphics in a graphic design app, exported and then converted them to BMP24 images. So that's a bitmap image with 24-bit color, so there's no alpha channels for that type of BMP. Um, I made some project-specific chips for this like I've done in other videos, and those are going to drive the capacitive plate sensors that I put in here. Um, as always, I made these in EagleCAD and then I used an online supplier to fabricate those files. Next, I want to make sure that this plate can be easily swapped out with new plates as I shoot them, so I'm going to add a connector to the system. Um, I did create a 3D model of the plate for a negative mold, but I ended up using it as just a positive mold when I soon realized that, like, this was way too detailed for my molding resolution capabilities. As far as this plate goes, no rifle rounds for this. Getting electronics to hold up to the internal vibrations of the plate and then properly detect impacts during these events is just my exclusive focus right now, really. Um, one last thing is that the plate is resistant to spall, though. So rounds go fully into the plate before flattening out inside. So shrapnel in these is pretty unlikely. One thing that I did try was some 3D printed flex filament on the surface just to try different stylings of the plate, but the adhesives that I tried didn't work at all. So the first impact threw both of these off instantly. Um, now the goals that I actually met for this first prototype is that the plate did retain ballistic strength after embedding all this junk into it. Um, it is low power, it's lightweight, thin, it's able to be built off of mold, which is important. That way I can actually make the parts look like the movie in future versions. Um, the goal that it did, well, sort of did, but didn't fully meet, was being able to accurately display damage status and location, which is kind of the, the main reason of this whole thing. Um, so that's a little disappointing, but as far as just a proof of concept first build, it's more than enough for me to try to make this and make it a better one. Um, so this stopped 14 rounds, close range, all of which were full metal jacket aside from two of them which were hollow point. The first one was hollow point. Um, also the curved parts can be susceptible to breakage, yet I had three rounds all on this double crease and I got no penetration, so that was pretty cool. It's time to learn from my mistakes to make a better one. Failed builds are okay and perfectly natural to the design process, so feel free to give a like and subscribe. It helps the channel reach more people out there, but most of all, thank you for watching and go make some stuff.